here. It's back. Guess what we're making again? Again, yes, I say it again. Pizza. But not just any pizza. Some would argue not pizza at all. We're making deep dish pizza in a cast iron skillet. So typically, a deep dish pizza, you think of Chicago, right? I'm not from Chicago. I'm a Marylander. I like crabs, okay? I also love pizza. So I was in Chicago recently. I love the debate about whether this is pizza or not. Who cares? In my head, like in my heart, it's got all the things that I love about pizza. It's got your sauce, I've got the sausage, I've got the cheese. We made pizza recently, we did grilled pizza. Frank, sorry, but I, I might, this might be the new pizza show. It's not, it's the cooking show. I'm Faraday, I'm not Frank. Both F names, both, you know, awesome people, obviously. We're just gonna start making our dough first though. The thing about deep dish pizza usually is that they're doing it in like a cake pan, okay? The difference is we're making it, like I said, cast iron skillet. First, we gotta bloom our yeast. So we're gonna do about a teaspoon of active dry yeast and three quarters teaspoon of just normal granulated sugar. You can use honey instead. I'm gonna melt my butter also. P.S. I'm adding a lot of water to this. I'm blooming my yeast in there. What makes Chicago deep dish and what we're kind of doing today is that there's cornmeal in the crust. Cornmeal is adding flavor and it's adding a little bit of texture. It's layers of the cheese and toppings and always sauces on top. The reason you're putting sauce on top is this has a longer bake time. So you don't want the cheese to burn, so you put the cheese in the middle. It's kind of like a pie, a casserole. Many different debates about this. Virginia here, she's Italian. It's kind of asking her, her opinion on pizza. You said, what was your favorite pizza growing up? Disgusting. It's not the best. Virginia, I love you, but we've got a lot to learn, this girl. I'm gonna add olive oil and onion. Oh, I gotta cut up my garlic too. Woo, that onion is pungent. Are your eyes burning too? What did you say, Sicily? <sighs> Fine. Mm. So, in our Arancini episode, Once Upon a Time, rice balls, they originated in Sicily. In this episode, every time I say Sicily, you drink. I got so drunk. I was drinking whiskey that episode. <laughs> Blackout, almost. I'm infusing my oil with oregano and chili flakes. That's soft, that's all infused. My dough, shit's happening in there. That's like activated, it's looking good. I've got my salt and my cornmeal, all-purpose flour, and they're gonna go into here. I'm gonna add my tomatoes, one whole can. These are crushed tomatoes. Don't use dice, dice is like too watery. You'll end up with like slop. I like the texture of this. You could use whole peeled tomatoes and like squish them up yourself. But again, you're having a lot of water content in there, but this is good. It's nice and it's thick and it's not gonna end up watery. With a deep dish pizza too, it's a chunkier sauce. Chunky is a weird word, am I right? What we're doing is just literally stirring this just to kind of get the tomatoes infused with the onion and the garlic and the chili flakes and all that good stuff. Turn the heat off on this, that's it. You don't need to cook it, it's not gonna like sit there and sputter away. It's done, it's fine, delightful. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. I'm doing a combination of fats to make this into an enriched dough. What an enriched dough is, it means that it has fat up into it. So I'm adding equal parts, essentially, olive oil and butter. Melted butter, right on in there. This is going in, we're gonna turn it on. Just knead it a little bit, I'm gonna take it out and knead it by hand also. Here's the thing, with this dough, I just did it until it got forms a really shaggy dough. Like this is literally like super shag. And I'm going to just knead the rest by hand. Now the difference between this dough and a normal pizza dough also is this is not as much of like a sticky wet dough. It is a little bit like more dense. So I'll just put it right onto here and I was gonna knead it. And so it's, it is a stiffer dough because we're gonna roll this out. It's almost like a pie crust because it's a nice smooth dough. Nice little pie dough. I'm gonna oil lightly this bowl, dip it in there. I'm gonna cover this, put it in a warm spot to rise. It's gonna almost double in size for about an hour. We've got hot Italian sausages. Here you go, everyone's favorite image. These just dropping out like little turds. And you're left with, essentially, a spent condom. It's disgusting. You could put any toppings you want in deep dish. In that way, this is like a normal pizza. You can do like peppers, things like that, whatever floats your boat. I'm gonna use sausage, because I'm a sausage girl. <laughs> you're gonna cut that? That's really good. I mean, I, I'll keep it in, but you're, you're inviting the commenters. Uh, I don't give a fuck. Bring it. Bring it. 
I don't need a lot of flour because it's not a sticky dough. And I've already oiled my bowl. It's got a lot of butter and oil in the dough, but I put a little bit of bench flour down. You can see I've got a standard 12 inch cast iron skillet. I'm going to lightly oil it. Do I think that this is gonna stick in there? No. Am I gonna oil it anyway, just for protection? Yes, so that's what I'm doing. And then we're just gonna roll our dough out. I have to tell you something. The most annoying thing ever. When we were testing this recipe, everyone who tested it, aside from myself, couldn't roll this fucking thing into a circle. I, I just don't understand, like, like watch this. Okay, you're doing a little like turn this. It. A little bit. It was so hard for everyone to roll it again. Circle. And it was so ugly. Right, this isn't even a perfect circle. circle. Like, it was like all like, like left side and hard, and just like you just around. take it and you roll it, you turn it, you roll it. Anyways, you guys can't do it at home either. That's fine also, but. Okay, so this is a 12 inch skillet, but you can see that it's got an edge. It's about almost two inches up, so instead of rolling this into a 12 inch circle like it is now, we roll it out into a 14 inch circle. Okay, math, that comes in handy, adding those extra two inches on, you know? An easy way now to move this, I'm going to roll this up onto here, like so, and then right in to the old cast iron. Now, time for the cheese. Yes, this is one and a half pounds of cheese. Thank you for asking. Sliced mozzarella. Cheese goes in the bottom, but I'm doing it a little bit differently. Most recipes use like a pound of cheese and they put it all in the bottom, but then it just like, it didn't melt enough for me. So what I'm doing is like a lasagna almost. Cheese, sauce, cheese, sausage, cheese, sauce. Do you remember that? I can't. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, this is over one and a half pounds of cheese because why? Snack and cheese. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna do about a cup worth of cheese. Just learn the words. Sauce. <laughs> cheese sauce, it's all the same. It's all going down the same place. Put it in there. I'm gonna spread it around. Nice even layer. Then we're gonna do some sausage little dollops on top of this. And then, what folks? What does it say up there? Cheese, sauce, sausage. Cheese, that's right, cheese. Okay, let's do it again. C S S C Wait. C S S C uh, uh. <laughs> I can't. No, the answer is no. Can't. I kind of like that the sausage cooks in the sauce. Now, as I'm doing this, is this pizza? Ian, asking you. What about you, Rachel? Virginia? Okay. Nate, what's your answer? You're saying, Aaron, what are, what's your thoughts? Yes. Is yes pizza? I think yes pizza too. Okay, not traditional. Sure, but we have all kinds of fucking things out there that aren't traditional. You know, I think that it says something about the US culture that we can adapt and change things around a little bit. It's not pizza as we know it. It's, you know, it's a pizza pie. Let's be honest here. Okay, now we're at C again. Cheese. Another layer of cheese. Wait, did I forget this one? Hold on. So it goes cheese, sauce, cheese, sausage, cheese, sauce. Ah! If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it right. I'm just gonna go like this. It's fine. It's not a big deal, okay? You know what? I can put a little bit of sausage under there too. That's fine, just like that. Now, cheese, sauce, cheese, sausage, cheese, sauce. Nate, spell it out for me. Wait, Rachel knows. Come on, Rachel, help me out. Cheese. So C. Sauce. S. Cheese. C. Sausage. S. Cheese. 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 I fucking can't do this. Okay. What a day. What a day, I tell you. Okay, sausage next. <laughs> That's gross. We're gonna spread that out. The last layer of cheese, okay? So we got our three layers of cheese. A load of sauce in there. The reason why also I'm doing three layers of cheese is that when I did it initially as one solid layer of cheese, it just like really kind of hunked up and it didn't really melt. Then I did it as like the layers and I did two layers and it was cheesy, but it wasn't cheesy enough. Then I did it three layers, one and a half pounds of cheese, gold. Now we're gonna do a little bit more cheese, <laughs> sauce. <laughs> we're gonna put sauce next, right up to the edges. Turn it as we go. Oof, this is gonna be something, I tell you. And now, Parmesan cheese. Gonna go in the oven, 
400 degrees. It's gonna go in for about 30, 35 minutes. Yes. Pizza's in the oven. We're gonna sit here, we're gonna drink some wine. Pizza is ready to come out. Oof. What you're looking for is this beautiful cornmeal crust. It's gonna get golden. The parmesan on the top is gonna be brown. You can cut this now, you can eat it now. You're gonna A, burn your mouth. It's like pizza soup, essentially, in there. You need to let it sit and chill for about 15, 20 minutes so that the sauce cools enough but the cheese is still melty. So. What's happening? What is wrong with the world right now? Let's do a little bit of this action, eh? Just as an FYI, out in the lobby, I'm not fucking kidding, this is where we work, they are doing a beer pong tournament right now. I was practicing yesterday, I'm really good, only when I'm drunk, so maybe I'll be in it by the end. Pizza's out, Woo, I let it cool a little bit. Notice, I didn't use this to cut it, now did I? And I'm getting it out with this. What does that tell you? You be the judge. Let's eat it, let's try it. Here's a money shot for you right there, so cheesy. Pizza or not, this is good. It has elements I want in a pizza. It's cheesy, it's saucy. I mean, one slice of this, I feel like is equal to like three normal slices of pizza with the amount of toppings and stuff that's on there. Cheese, sauce, cheese, sausage, cheese, sauce. What's y'all? Farm. But what did I say, sauce? It was amazing. Hope you guys like it. Thanks. Goodbye. Sicily. Ugh.